Socioeconomic status is not poverty. They're related, but they're not the same thing. I need y'all to learn the difference because until we do, we can't have real conversations about brain development, parenting, or policy. People hear socioeconomic status and they think rich versus poor, but it's much more complex than that. Socioeconomic status, or SES, is a multi-dimensional measure. It includes income, education, and occupation. It's not just about money. Poverty, on the other hand, is an economic condition, and it's usually defined by income thresholds like the federal poverty line. Two families can have the same income but very different SES depending on things like parental education, family size, job stability, neighborhood factors, and access to enrichment. In research, we use things like the income to needs ratio, which compares household income to poverty thresholds, and the MacArthur ladder, where people rank their own social standing. In my own research, I built composite SES scores from objective and subjective measures. That's because objective resources and subjective experiences shape the brain. SES influences development through access to enrichment, nutrition, safety, and how we handle chronic stress. When we collapse socioeconomic status and poverty, we ignore the complexity of lived experience, and we risk pathologizing people instead of analyzing context. So the next time you hear low SES, remember, it's not a label for people, it's a snapshot of their environment and lived experience. If this video was helpful, like it, save it, share it, drop a comment below, and follow for more brain science made crispy clear.